<laughs> what happened? It's spam cramps. Spam cramps? Which one be spam cramps again? Like spam pain. Those like Mr. Pain that our ladies used to have. Is that what? So have you gone to the hospital? Mm. Doctor said um, spam cramps happens to only guys. Like when a guy don't have sex for like 50 days. Um, Today is my day 52. Oh, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm, thank you. Are you sure you're okay? What's your favorite position in bed? Hey, wait, was I skipping when I write this one? Good evening to you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always coming back. Okay, today we are on freaky freaky question. I'm going to be answering some freaky freaky questions that I ask myself. Okay, I normally do something like this where I ask myself questions like self appraisal or self evaluation, as I want to call it. Okay, so this time around, I wanted to do it. I was like, no, let me put it on the paper. Is there and come out and answer some of them with you guys okay in front of camera let me see how it goes if you guys find this kind of video interesting let me know in the comment section okay all the freaky freaky questions all the juicy and interesting questions that you want to ask me okay drop that in the comment section and mind you guys i i mix some godly questions here let it not be as if we are too calm now, okay mm -hmm. so without wasting much of the time let's dive right into the video this container is for my baby candy candy float so that one that's the only thing i can find This one that's looking like long notes. So the question that I picked, okay, what's the hardest part about being in a long distance relationship? What's the hardest part? Congina, like every time, bumbo, bumbo, bumbo. Can't you carry your Bible and be to one <laughs> No, you guys should not mind me. No, it's not going to be like intimacy a bit here and if you're joining us for the first time on this channel you're highly welcome okay and if you don't know when i first got married the first three years of my marriage yeah my fourth year of my marriage okay all thanks to jackpot that brought us together so for the past three years of my marriage i i was staying in lagos mainland when my husband was staying in lagos island because of the nature of the job he was doing as of then okay and we were only able to see during um weekend i don't know why i'm forgetting it's just yesterday so we are only able to see weekend so the hardest part is being alone okay loneliness why you are like married but lonely okay you know there are some times that things will happen you wish oh well, oh well i can't wait i can't wait to go home and explain to my husband yeah i know that you guys will say oh what happened to phone telephone and that. see there's this conversation that requires eyeball to eyeball like on oh, africa can you see like you'll be touching you you'll be touching him you guys will be communicating and you'll be flowing okay yeah the hardest part of being a long distance relationship for me oh, is the loneliness that comes with it okay mm -hmm. <laughs> we are moving <laughs> good right <laughs> have you ever given a fake number to a guy of course all thanks to my dad my dad can relate okay because i'm always sharing his number to some guys and most times they will call it they'll be like hello angel my dad will say nena <laughs> like nena started again okay so most times if we are not vibing together and i don't want to say no because if this is something that i'm learning to do now back then i find it difficult to say no to people okay i don't know why i don't know if it's because of me but instead of me not to give you the number i would rather give you my dad number and sorry and i will tell you that oh i'm not with my phone here my phone is at home can you call me in the next 10 20 minutes so that i'll be with my phone but who does that that's a lie you have you yeah but just know that giving guy fake number okay yeah <laughs> The question is going the one I answered. I'm dropping it somewhere, and I'm hoping that I will not pick the one that will, that will throw me off balance. Anyway, she is me that wrote them. Anyone I cannot answer, I will skip it. What's the silliest excuse I have ever used to get out of a date? I think this one should just be a proper sit down video on this one because, guys, hey, there's this guy that went out on a date with, and I wasn't vibing with what the guy is saying. I have to test my friend, like, please call me and start shouting, like, start shouting at me. Let me. Put the phone on last speaker i'll pretend that you're my elder sister okay see guys i'm the first daughter so me telling another person to pretend that you're my elder sister means it's a lie but that's the silliest excuse i've ever used to get out of a date okay so she she now called me and was like why did you scatter the house and you even went out with my pop let her start coming back home if not i'm going to tell her that mom blah 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 blah, blah. i have to like i beg my sister is angry when she's angry mom and dad will back her up everybody also and so i run because the guy was not nobody enjoyed the council <laughs> Like it means it's what I had in mind as I was going was not what I saw. Okay, so I don't know if it's blinded, but different story on this. So when I'm ready to share, I will share with you guys. Okay, so the next question, okay, God, the one that will ask me this question now will not appear. It's the one that we ask what I don't know. Anyway, I'm the one that wrote it. I asked myself this question because I don't know. Maybe you guys should ask me if you want to know anything about me that you don't answer in this question in this section. Okay, if you have not subscribed, please I beg you subscribe to this channel. Okay, we are trying to we are trying to get there. We are not there yet. Okay, so you see the time I'm making this video past 10 like 10 20 that's the time what's unusual thing do i find attractive in a person something that is unusual that i find attractive in a person uh, it could be the way the person talk the way the person laugh 
and I know it's unusual because for people their 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 talk or their laughter is is entirely different from their personality, they're entirely different from who they are, okay? And I think something unusual that I find attractive in a person. Something unusual. Okay, if this person were to give something unusual that I find attractive in my husband, it just be the shape of his head. I just love his the shape of his head. I don't know what that does that okay. So the next question. Have I ever kissed a stranger? Oh. See guys, the first and foremost, I don't like kissing. I'm not when it comes to romance and all that and all that. I don't like somebody's tongue touching my tongue like, 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 like I don't like kissing. Okay, I I I detest it so well. Okay, even I find it difficult to kiss my husband. That's the extent that the kissing. I, I, I don't like kissing. So have I ever kissed a stranger? Hell no. What? You might you must be using toothbrush that invented from heaven for me to even see you. I think like when you mean pecking, like. I don't know, pecking on your on your cheek or your forehead and all that. Not a stranger, somebody that I know is quite understandable, but the one of as in it can't be me. It's not me. In fact, let's leave it at that. Next question. Um What's my favorite time of the day? You guys can already answer that. Okay, night. Like, I don't, I'm not a morning person. If not that, you're supposed to wake up in the morning, do what you want to do, and all that. Like, the, the, when my day will be starting, will be around maybe 11, 12. Okay, but not that would you have to wake up early. Okay, so I like night time. So this one is, do I believe in love at first sight? I don't believe in love at first sight, okay? Because if I'm seeing you for the first time, I'm making a lot of assumption on my head, I'm making a lot of imagination about you on my head. Oh, this person be nice. Mm, this person. And uh, in fact, I'm not. I don't believe in love at first sight, okay? Because a lot of things I for I know some people works for them, but me, me will try getting try because I know that I can be very bored when it comes to dealing with people, okay? So when I see you and the love is shaking me at that first time, just know that two three weeks along the along the line. I'm packing out, okay? Reason, I don't know. But I don't believe in love at first sight, okay? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, 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 please like this video, okay? And it's moving. Have I ever regifted a present? What was it? Yeah, I think I've said it on my channel, okay? I've regifted a gift that somebody gave, gave, gave to me. Hey, regifted a gift that somebody gifted to me. Who you? <laughs> yeah, I think the English is correct. Said, yes, I've regifted. And I'm better from leave me alone. Yes, I have regifted a gift. That, that thing has to be coming. So I think I've said it on my channel. Okay, it wasn't my side, it was too tight for me. So I gave it out to my sister. And funny enough, the same person that gifted me that, that singlet also gifted my sister the same color. Okay, so when I gave my sister, I was like, I give money, I'll make a so full gift and, and all that. Okay. How do I how do you think or how do I think I can improve on my friendship? Okay, guys, like I told you um, um earlier, I don't have plenty of things that I wish I had, okay? Like I'm somebody that that, that is reserved, okay, more like introvert and I'm not the outgoing person, okay? So I kind of feel that the thing I can do to improve my friendship is to be intentional about them. Okay. I want to improve. I seriously want to improve on my friendship, okay? And I, I kind of want to um increase the level of communication yes with my friends because any friendship that lasts communication dies okay so i want to be intentional about it and increase the level of communication i have with this my friend okay will you consider yourself a romantic person yes but not in terms of giving flowers like i i, I don't know i don't know guys maybe because of the kind of society that i grew up with the kind of environment i grew up affected me i don't like flowers like not like i don't like flowers i don't like receiving it as gift okay there was a time they were doing mother's sunday and my husband was like should i get you flower i was joking i was just like you take flower like i was just like if you give me flower use it and smash your head i don't like flowers give me any other thing that is not flower okay you can give me perfume not like i'm smelling no but you can give me perfume you can give me any other thing like chocolate, sweet, like cloth, chew, bag, and bubble, flowers. Mm -mm. I'm not there. And I used to imagine, like, when people go out on a date with their boyfriend, girlfriend, they'll bring their flower. Or maybe it's their birthday, somebody will give their flower. Or maybe when they are sick, somebody will give their flower. They'll just be like, oh, they will smell it in their nose and be like, oh, this flower is so amazing. By the way, my priest gifted me flower. I accepted it in good faith because I was like, what are you doing, okay, Madam Mary? Like, this man did not do anything back to you. He just wants to express his, his um, 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 kindness to you, okay? Because I wasn't feeling fine. So when he came, he came with chocolate and flowers. I was like, okay, maybe this is this is their culture or their custom here. Maybe at now that me UK, another man land that they value flower. I can I can consider that, but would I consider myself romantic? Yes, romantic in another aspect like caring. Okay, uh, being there for for my husband, my daughter, my friends, like the little ones I have. Okay, so if you are if they are wearing it, 50-50 It should be fifty fifty. Okay, <laughs> okay. See, remaining. You know? 
And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm doing justice to this question. If there's any other interesting, freaky, and juicy question you want to ask me, you want to know about me, leave that in the comment section. See, I'm going to compile this, come back here and answer them, all of them, okay? Yeah. If I could only eat one food for the rest of my life, what would that be? I think that would be swallow, okay? If I could eat it for the rest of my life, what would that be? Swallow with ovono soup, like draw soup, any soup that draws, okay? And am I sure? For the rest of my life. I, I wanna happen to yam, plantain, beans. Ah, I cannot. If I could, okay, I cannot. But if I could, swallow. Another question is that if you had a conversation with your ex, what's the question you want to ask them? Funny enough, all of them now, hmm? I'm the one that left. Like, I wasn't dumped, okay? It's not like I dumped them. But I'm the one that got tired of them. I was the one that got bored. So, I don't think there's any question I would have asked them. So, the question would have been, what question would I expect them to ask me? Because I'm, I'm the one that, that break their heart, okay? I know I did not break anybody's heart, but since this, this ex, they will assume that I broke their heart, okay? Now, this one is, how many siblings do you have? Five, three brothers and two sisters, okay? So, we are a family of six, three boys and three girls. We are complete, okay? Yeah. What's your favorite position in bed? Hey, wait, was I sleeping when I write this one? <laughs> anyway, favorite position is any position that will get me to cloud nine, okay? Depending on the mood. There are mood that, come and do, let me go and sleep. Or that come and do, let me go and eat. Or that come and do, but when I'm in the mood, any position that will take me there, hey, okay? Um... Gross food combo, I secretly love. Okay, yeah, that like food combination that doesn't make sense, but I love it. Is Indomie and Pap. Yes, my sister in law, they're tired of me. They can relate very well. The first time I told them that, oh, I love eating Indomie and Pap, they were like, Are you weird like me? Leave that in the comment section. Have you tested Indomie and Pap? Oh, well, you've not. So go and try it this night and come back and let me know how it turned out. Okay, I know, I know I've seen a lot of people that did um, um, beans and swallow. Like beans and fufu, they will put it when I was serving. They will, that guy will, will boil beans and make you work it and do ever and be dipping it. Ah, second day, okay. What happened on your worst date ever? I think I've shared it with you guys. There, okay, the young man well, that I went on a date with ended up Tonda asking me to pay for to borrow him money to pay for <laughs> what he ordered. Okay, so that's the worst experience. Okay, if if you are going out on a date with a girl, if you are, especially if you're the one that's inviting her, please have enough money. And see, I'm not that expensive, funny enough, because where we went to is nowhere they're selling expensive food back then in Omita. Where do you even know? Say, you to Mr. Beast and, and all that. And I trek my to go and see you. Okay, the, um, the one thing about me is that if I'm going out to sell anybody, I used to carry dress money so that when the thing is not right, like if I'm not understanding what you guys are doing there, I'll excuse myself, enter by and start going home. Okay, so I, I was lucky that day, I had 2000 naira of me. So what he bought, he needed extra 1000 to complete it and all that. It was just like I should borrow him the money when he gets home, he will give me and all that. So now I'm giving him the money, I'm giving him everything about him, like that. But I'm going to go in about not interested again because this is not what I bargained. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. What do you like doing in your free time? Well, in my free time, I like to read, I like to listen to messages, I like to listen to gospel message and try as much as possible to connect back to my maker, okay? If that makes sense. Oh, our question is almost done, like it's remaining one, two, three, four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four of it, okay? What do I really like about myself? What do I really like about myself? I like the fact that I'm, I'm growing, like I'm maturing to be a better person, working hard on myself to be a better version of myself, okay? See guys, uh, this, since this is 2023, uh, it, it has not been me, okay? And I like the fact that I'm still hanging on there, being positive about life, being um, 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 easy on myself, okay? And being, being there myself okay because I, I i do not believe that i will survive to this stage i'm talking with you guys okay since i heard the news about my dad i don't know why i'm bringing it up on this video but i guess that it is what it is okay i got to be talking about that young man that made my life colorful in a very special way in every of my videos okay guys on a very good day i will sit down and discuss about the good thing i like about my dad things i don't like about my dad if there is any okay but that aside who do i really like about myself i like the fact that i'm now becoming aware of myself okay yeah why do I find it difficult to maintain or keep a friendship? Why? See, guys, like I told you, this kind of question is something that I normally do to improve on myself. So this one made it to this video because I was meditating about friendship and, and all that. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even know. Let me know in the comment section if you are like me that, that find it difficult to maintain friendship. But I'm kind of scared of the unknown, okay? Because the little friends that I had, like I told you guys, I was having it in my mind that, okay, these people are my friends, but it happens that I'm not their friend, okay? And they went as far as betraying me. So when I see people, when I see uh, people, I just be like, flashback but i need to let go okay it's not like i've not forgiven them sometimes we'll talk sometimes we'll gist but the sky is still there okay so i don't know maybe friendship is not for me but i really want to have that special person or people that can gist with aside from my husband and my children okay but it is what it is okay 
what bad habit do I want to stop? Bad habit do I want to stop? Crying. Ah, God. I don't know if crying is bad habit. But what bad habit do I want to stop? Bad habit, bad habit, bad habit. Okay, starting something and not finishing it. Okay, like um, procrastination, you can call it. I'm working on it. I'm doing therapy section about it for myself. Okay, and you know, when they say therapy, they also a lot of people think that you are seeing a therapist. Okay, I am the therapy of myself and with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm trying as much as possible to take it one day at a time. Okay, if I start something, I try as much as possible to, to finish it. Okay, now the last but not the least, then, 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 hey, hey, how many kids do I want to have? See, guys, before I come out of I was saying in my mind, oh, I'm going to have four children, I'm going to have them twins, like in two, two boys, two girls. I was drawing fantasies on my head, like after that, I'm done. I'm, open, I'm only going to enter level room two times. Like, I push my first twins, boys, I push the second one, girls, and I'm done, 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 done. But, <laughs> I come my goes in and they are there. When I had my daughter, my mentality changed. Like everything about that for children changed. And I was grateful to God that ah, Baba go test prayer. Thank God I did not answer this my prayer of having twins because if it has been twins, hey, <laughs> if it has been twins by now, maybe and then I walk up my walk but God cannot give us something that is too difficult for us to handle, okay? And I know that if it were to be twins, then I will still have the strength to to cope. But after having my daughter, I begin to rethink about my life. Is this what they really want to do? Four children, like four. No, I think now I'm comfortable with two. Okay, if Jesus carry. But if bad accidents happen, if you be carry, but now I'm comfortable with two. Like one, two. Whether it's gay, gay, whether it's boy, boy, whether it's gay and boy, glory be to God, okay? Because I cannot manufacture anyone, okay? Anyone, whichever one that comment is a gift from God. And I'm really grateful to God about that, okay? So that's that for today's video, okay? Let me know what you guys think about this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and ask questions if there is anything that you wish to know or you want to know about me that I did not mention in this video, okay? And guys, this is the kind of video that I like to do with a friend, but... There's no friend in UK that I have that can will agree to do this kind of video with me because most of my friends now in UK they're camera shy. Even outside, if I bring out my camera, hey guys, welcome back. Also, handling a box, I don't know why they're camera shy, okay? So I enjoy doing it with myself. And will I be doing it often? It depends on the algorithm, okay? It depends on whether you guys like this video or not, okay? So like it, please. Like it, like it, like it, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'm sure we'll see you guys in the next video for now. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.